one of my favorite songs. Hope you can hear the lyrics. treatments tomorrow. Alone. I just looked at the time. It's 11-11. See the time? I knocked my glasses case down. <clears throat> I'm gonna read to you what 1111 means. Hold on, I got my angel numbers. We breathe in the air. Don't be afraid to care. 11. 11, 11, stay positive. Your thoughts are materializing rapidly. So you want to ensure positive outcomes by focusing only on the good within yourself, others, and in this situation. It's exactly what it says. And yes, that sums up basically what I'm going through. To a T, to a T. Run, rabbit, run. Dig that hole, that sun. You think you're getting on for this deadly old video, right? It's either me crying or like in the woods or talking about death or like. This is my life, though, guys. This is it. This is my life. This is, it. This is what it is. At least you can choose to either subscribe or not subscribe or to watch or to not watch. I can't get out of this. This is my life. Do you know what I mean? I just got diagnosed with cancer, guys. It's in late stages. So. And believe it or not, the government... Because I'm in Canada, so the government does help people. They help friggin' people who are selling drugs, for God's sakes, and give them money. And then you got somebody like me who got hit with another person's car, created me to be disabled, nine herniated discs. I have a jawbone that pops out of the side of my face. They won't help me. I just got diagnosed with cancer in the past couple of months. The government still won't help me. I don't understand all my bills are getting threatened to be cut off. My heat and light, my cell phone, my internet. I've been selling the clothes off my back just to pay my bills. If they cut my internet, how am I going to sell what I got left to sell? I even went on my Facebook and asked people to donate. Three people stepped up to the plate and donated like 20 or 30 bucks, which I am grateful for. But I have like a thousand people on my Facebook and three people stepped up. I don't know, guys. 
What am I supposed to do? I don't have any family. My dad died of a brain tumor. I lost my best friend Jeffrey in the summer. He died suddenly. I can't give you any more details about him because it's personal about, and his family wouldn't even release it. They even have it a private funeral. I wasn't even allowed to go. I was allowed, I could go to the wake, and his mother knew exactly who I was, and she came up to me and wrapped her arms around me because she knew I spent every day with him. He talked about me all the time. We we're best friends. And now I got diagnosed with cancer. Like, can I get a break? My mother hasn't spoke to me since before Christmas. She didn't even give me a Christmas gift. She knows, she knows what I'm going through. She would rather me be homeless and die of cancer than to either even give me $100 to help me with my bills or even a phone call to say, look, I'm here for you. I love you. Nothing. Nothing. And if you can't tell, I'm past the point of fucking crying. You guys see me cry all the time. I can't cry anymore. Oh, I was crying earlier, which is why I got no eye makeup on, no mascara or eyeliner. I was crying all day and all night. But I'm in shock. I am in shock on the little help that I've got. I am in shock. And the people that did help me, they don't even know me. It's funny, isn't it, how it works like that? You know, there was a few people that stepped up and, and donated, like, so when I did that post about asking for donations, just three people stepped up. And recently, a good friend of mine, I'm not allowed to say her name because she just told me not to. Thank you. She sent me 50 dollars. $50. Like I mentioned in a previous post, obviously I bought uh, a little bit of food and toilet paper and some essentials and some dog food. So I got to feed my animals, my dog and my cats before I feed myself. And honestly, guys, where I got this sickness that spread through my whole stomach area, spread through all here, I don't eat. I don't eat. I used to weigh 160 pounds. I'm down to 105. I can't keep food down. It comes back up. So I don't know. I know this is like too much real talk for some people and click off, click off. You can't handle it. Click off. But I don't have anybody to talk to. So I'm coming on here. I don't care who watches. You can be on the other part of the world. If maybe what I'm going through makes you feel not so alone, then I helped somebody. You know? And just remember, we're all fighting battles that nobody knows anything about. And sometimes they do know about them and they just don't care. And we have to accept that. Because people have free will and we can't make them do anything. I can't make my mom love me. I can't make her give me money. I took her to Jamaica when I had money. When I got my car settlement a few years ago, I took her to Jamaica I could have took anybody, and I took her to try and work on our relationship. It cost me $12,000. She won't even give me back a hundred. No, and she knows what I'm going through right now. Because I wrote my stepdad, and he hates my fucking guts. And even he is saying he's going to try and get my mom to speak to me. Like, I am in shock. I'm past crying right now. I'm in shock. I know you see me trying to be happy in some videos and try and distract myself. It's the only way to stay sane at this point in time is to try and distract myself and try and do other things. And the person that was out with me last night, God love his heart. I mean, I haven't seen him in eight or nine months, seven months, eight months. And he came out with me last night, which was lovely. And I think me and him are friends again now, which is good because I really do need a friend. And so David, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you, David. For even giving a shit, you know? And no, he didn't give me any money or anything like that. No, I did not ask him. But the fact that he came out and spent his time with me, you can't get time back. 
So even just somebody spending their time with me means the world to me. I love you guys. I wish you love and light. And I really hope you're not going through what I'm going through. And if you are, leave a comment and you're not alone, okay? Love and light.